La Croix French pronunciation, La Croix, English, the Cross, is a daily French general interest Roman Catholic newspaper. It is published in Paris and distributed throughout France, with a circulation of just under 110,000 as of 2009. It is not explicitly left or right on major political issues, rather adopting the Church's position. However, La Croix ought not be confused with a religious newspaper. Its topics are of general interest, world news, the economy, religion and spirituality, parenting, culture and science. It vigorously advocated for traditional Catholicism while at the same time innovating with the most modern technology and distribution systems. Early history Upon its appearance in 1880, the first version of La Croix was a monthly news magazine. When the Augustinians of the Assumption who ran the paper realized that the monthly format was not getting the widespread readership they desired, they decided to convert to a daily sheet sold at one penny. Accordingly, La Croix transitioned into a daily on 16 June 1883. Father Emmanuel D. Alzin 1810 the founder of the Assumptionists and the Oblates of the Assumption, started the paper, although its biggest early advocate was Father Vincent de Paul Bailly. The founding company was Bonn Press, which would be called Bayard Press in 1950. Lacroix succeeded in bringing together certain groups of Roman Catholics who were seeking to position themselves outside of party politics and ideologies. At the end of the 19th century, it was the most widely read Roman Catholic publication in France, with a clerical readership of more than 25,000. It gained more readers when it took the lead in attacking Dreyfus as a traitor and stirred up antisemitism. The radical government, under Waldeck Rousseau, forced the Assumptionists into exile from France, as it had many other religious orders. The newspaper S. Publishing House, Le Bon Press, was purchased by Paul Furin Vrau, who oversaw operations until the Assumptionists returned to France under the Amnesty Laws of 1905. Renewal For many years, La Croix appeared in two formats. The first was a small format periodical aimed at popular readership, the second a large format newspaper aimed at a more intellectual audience. In 1927, Father Leon Merklin having become editor-in-chief, LaCroix began to address social problems. This was led to the initiative founding Catholic Action and also helped to create a formal link between the Catholic working youth and the French Roman Catholic Church. During the Second World War La Croix moved its editorial offices first to Bordeaux, then to Limoges. The paper was shut down comparatively late in the occupation, on 21 June 1944. It would not reappear until February 1945. Father Gabel oversaw the relaunch of the paper. Editor-in-chief from 1949, he introduced new sections, such as sports, cinema, fashion, and theatre. On 1 February 1956, Lacroix began to appear for the first time without a crucifix as a part of its header. In March 1968, the newspaper adopted a tabloid format. In January 1972, the newspaper changed its name to Lacroix Levenment, the cross the event. The choice of the new title was a reflection of the editorship's desire to show that the paper was not just a religious paper, but a regular daily, reflective of modern society. The paper has a very loyal readership, as expressed by the fact that 87% of its sales are by subscription. Centennial To celebrate its centennial in 1983, Lacroix Levenment took on a newer, more attractive layout, added new sections and saw the arrival as editor-in-chief of Noel Copen. The readership continued to decline, but the new team led by Bruno Frappet, former editing director of Le Monde who arrived in January 1995, hopes to fight against this trend of general disaffectation with the press which is plaguing a large number of French newspapers. A regular printing in 1998 would be of about 127,000 copies. Bayard Press is reacting to this with a double strategy. On the one hand they are investing in the modernization of LaCroix, with electronic editing and a full electronic archive of the paper. On the other hand, they have increased their diversification, taking on a bigger presence in French children. 
s press and adding new publications of a Catholic nature. They have also been involved in co-producing children. S television and turning certain titles, such as Notre Temps, into international publications. The paper's efforts have met with some success and in 2005 reported a 1.55% increase in circulation. Today, La Croix is one of only three daily national French newspapers to turn a profit, and the most successful in growing its circulation in the 21st century. The editors of La Croix observed another centennial on 12 January 1998 the publication of Émile Zola, S.J., accused, the opening salvo in the public defense of Dreyfus by examining the newspaper's role in the Dreyfus affair. Whereas in 1898 they published, Down with the Jews, and labeled Dreyfus as, The enemy Jew betraying France. The editors in 1998 stated, whether assumptionists or laymen, the editors of La Croix had at the time an inexcusable attitude. The Iraq War and the firing of Alain Hertog In December 2003, the newspaper La Croix made headlines after firing one of its own journalists, Alain Hertog, for writing a book that was allegedly damaging to the newspaper's editorial line. Hertog accused the four major French newspapers Le Monde, Le Figaro, Liberation, and West France in addition to La Croix, of biased reporting during the U.S. war in Iraq. Bibliography Alain Fleury, La Croix et Le 1930 1940, Paris, Le Cerf, 1986. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Lacroix online. In English, regular French press review, Radio France International. Lacroix digital archives from 1880 to 1944 in Gallica, the digital library of the BNF.